And I was assembling them. I was just like, oh my God, too many teapots. Why did I do this? Yeah. They're known as sumi brushes. They work the best because they hold the, the most glaze. But when you brush the fawn, you have all these different effects. That's why I like brushing the glazes. Get so good at what you do that you can't be ignored. So when you apply that philosophy to what you do, you're always like trying to improve. And when you're not improving, that's when I start to worry because that means that I'm not learning. I'm not even trying uh, different things. And that's the most important part. you go in, the more interesting it gets. This is all clay. You see that gray stuff? I come out here and I'll collect some of this clay. Rich, kind of glossy brown. So one of the first wood side handles that I made, I actually collected from here. Everybody could benefit from a little bit of nature. You know, everyone. Unless you're allergic to things. <laughs> some more sculptural stuff and I don't know maybe one of my maybe one day one of my teapots will sit next to uh, Richard Notkins and in, in a, 
museum somewhere. <laughs> if if he fa if he stumbles across this some way somehow, uh, hey Richard, I I would love to sit in your studio for a day or two and pick your brain. Um, I'm sure I can learn a lot from you. You can see why it's so exciting going through a stick box. When I'm picking these sticks, is making sure that the the proportions are gonna be pretty well balanced. Some pots require like thinner sticks and some require thicker sticks. I really like the way this one looks. from like all of my teachers they've always been very supportive because they see that I'm pretty dedicated to the work and I think that's like that ev everywhere I can keep most of it and I'm noticing color change here what I'll do is use some sandpaper and kind of sand this a little bit to blend that transition so that it's it's not uh, two different colors. Just kind of take after Da Vinci's philosophy of spumato, which is basically no hard edges, blend everything. This area here still needs to come down just a little bit. Color here, color here, a little bit there. There you go. Oh, that's much better. Handles. So I have this piece, it's like my mixing stick. this technique I would leave leave the area um, a little a little less clean and I would clean after it was dry and that actually ended up being more work so now I spend more time cleaning while it's still wet simple did you see that that was easy right <laughs> how would I just smile <laughs> <laughs>